Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we're going to have a look at the unboxing and setup of the Honor Magic Watch 2. It's a lovely little watch, it's got seven days battery life built into it, so for a smartwatch that's pretty good. Um, I'm very impressed with that, my current one lasts a day if I'm lucky. Uh, it's got personalised watch faces, it comes with a 1.2 inch AMOLED touchscreen which is 360 by 360 millimeters wide and high with a resolution of 329 dpi. It's got an always on display GPS tracking system with dual satellite position systems. It accurately records your speed, your route when running, walking or cycling. An altometer which records your evolution when you're hiking and climbing. It's got built-in running apps which comes with 13 different running courses. I don't go running once let alone 13 different ways. Got a goal based tracking fitness models, getting out of bed, having my day, that's fitness enough. But apparently, you can do more exercise than that. Real time voiceover guidance. Now, I think that's going to be telling you, like, no speed up, slow down, or maybe route guidance. I don't know. We'll have to find that out together. An O2 blood oxygen sensor, heart rate monitor, sleep monitor, stress monitor, which I definitely need. Female cycle tracker, which I don't think is personally aimed at me, but it might be good for my wife. A swimming heart rate monitor, which is water resistant up to 50 meters, and it's got the all new TrueSense 3.5 system, which measures your heart rate accurately whilst underwater using the SWOLF, which is an acronym of swimming and golf, because the idea of a golf stroke, but you have a swimming stroke, so it's a bit of an odd an acronym, but that's what they've decided to use, which tracks your speed whilst swimming and your calories burn and your distance swam. It measures everyday stress with the True Relax. It measures the undisturbed sleep patterns with True Sleep. Wireless music playback with the four gig internal storage, so you can save four gigs worth of music to your watch and play it back over the speaker. But before you get on and unbox this and set it up, I just want to uh, let everyone know that we do provide a whole host of online services, such as online backup and sync, endpoint security for all your devices, remote network management, and we also do on-site and remote support and setup of computer systems as well. If you want to find any more information about that, there'll be a link for it down below. Well, let's get on and have a look what's in the box. So, very Apple-esque, you just pull the little tab. That certainly does look very well presented, a beautiful looking watch. So we'll just open up our little door and we have in our little side pocket a charging cable, the charging disc, warranty card and welcome pack, quick start guide and the watch itself. Very nicely packaged and presented. I'll just have a look at our charging cables. So it's a USB A to C cable. It's about a meter long. I'll put a note on the screen how long it actually is. And our charging disc. So the idea is you just pop that in there and to any standard USB charging brick. There'll be a foam just to keep the strap neat. It's a lever clasp style. To adjust the size of the strap, what you just need to do is pull that part down, put your finger in there, and just lift it up by 90 degrees, and then you can adjust the size of the strap. And then when you're happy with it, push it back down, put it on your wrist, and clip it shut. Now we're going to connect this up to the charger so we can have it charging whilst we set it up. I'm going to use a longer cable because I've got the plugs right down on the floor, but when it's by your bedside, I'm sure that cable is going to be quite long enough. So you've got your little prongs there where it meets to the contacts and uh, recess a little bit. Might actually have a, it does actually have a left and a right hand side. So that is now charging. You can see it's nicely lit up. Now it's saying we need to select our language. I won't charge it whilst I'm doing this because it's getting in the way, just moving a little bit too much. So we'll select English. 
uh, it wants to pair with the phone. It says download heart on your phone, then add this watch. I'm gonna say have fun pairing this watch. This should be a quick, easy, simple video. And the pairing process is completely unlogical. The instructions are unhelpful. For an expensive product, this feels like a cheap Chinese copy that you get off eBay or some AliExpress or Timu. This doesn't feel like it's a hundred pound or two hundred pound watch depending on which version you have. I'm going to go off camera, set it up and then let you know how it actually goes afterwards. But so far, experience unboxing, brilliant experience, product looks beautiful, setup process very disappointing. Okay, now we've, what I did off camera is I went through all the apps and I found that there was an option to link the Honor Health with Huawei Health and then this came up. So we're now gonna click link. Allow contacts and pair. It's come up on there tick and it's now going through the paying process it's now paired download audio uh, auto install apps continue enable that's a very cute little watch face there so you want to say the health allow health allow honor health go back don't need the suggestions don't need notes Message calendar, that's fine. These are the notifications. So you can customize what notifications you get. Say done to that and okay. Allow, so you can make phone calls. Access to contacts and okay. Settings. Allow that all the time, I'd have thought. Go back. And now you can see what Face, watch faces you want, and you can play around with that. So that is very helpful. Device settings. Firm updates, probably got an update, so let's go and check that. There is an update, so download the update. I think both the watch and the phone really need their initial update. Um, the downloading all the updates and setting up the phone was really, really slow. But once the main OS update went through, everything sped up, it was so much cleaner. Um, so when you do get one, don't be disheartened if you feel something isn't quite as polished and perfect with the phone when it first comes out of the box. Get the updates done. Once you've got the updates done, then it's a lovely, lovely phone. And I think the same is probably gonna happen with the watch. I think they've tried to do a more of an Apple-esque pairing system where you scan the little pretty picture on the watch. But of course, if you haven't got the update on the watch, that's not gonna appear. Um, so I think that's possibly what's happened here. But they really do need to have much clearer, better instructions on how to pair this. Um, whether or not I've done it right in this video or not, I honestly don't know. I think it feels a very peculiar way of having to set it up by doing multiple different apps. I think Woody One Health app did come on the phone. I'll check my phone to see if my one has it. If it does, then I'll post a comment in the description, maybe a little card up on the screen. Okay, finish. Now we've got a nice little graphic here on the watch as it's updating. Here's a beautiful little screen, I've got to say. Because this is where um, they do say that the watch can control the phone. And if I can do that, I can record, pause. I've only got a 15 minute time frame on the phone that I can record, which is a big problem. Picture quality is beautiful. I'm loving the picture quality. Don't like that 15 minute record limit. Okay, so now it's done its update and I still can't see a 
Oh, I'll see if I, you can see what I'm looking at. Got the phone screen. Now the new camera should be able to zoom into this, hopefully. Side progress, you've got the heart rate monitor. Your stress level, if I put this on now, I'll probably break it with the amount of stress I've got. Weather, which is nice. Let's see if it does play anything. Bluetooth earphones need to be connected. Okay, so let's come back out there. Your steps, uh, time, how much motion you've done. Back to the watch face and that just goes around. Swipe up, no messages, down. And that comes to your settings. I wonder if I can have earbuds display. Oh, system. No, nope, nothing about the phone on there. You can choose what the bottom button does so it gets to a particular app straight away. So it looks like the watch doesn't control the camera, but the sports band does. Again, I'll have to go off camera and have a look to see how that does fare because update now available, install. It's got another update. I'll pause the video and come back. Well, it's just done its second update and it doesn't seem to be any different there. So we're gonna go and wear it for a while and we might do another review um, with a time of wearing it, or I might just tack it on at the end of the video. But it's a beautifully made watch, beautifully presented. It feels and looks great. Uh, in animations on it are nice and crisp and clear. The screen is lovely and clear. The battery life is amazing at seven days. I think that's brilliant. But there are some letdowns. It doesn't have NFC. You can't install third party apps, but that's the restriction to give it that high battery usage. So, oh, high battery life. So depending on what you're wanting, this could either be perfect or it could be a bit of a letdown. And it's so close to being perfect. If without NFC and without third party apps, because my old watch, third party apps seldom work properly anyway, so um, which is a fossil watch. So if I lose third party apps and move on to this platform, I could live with that. Losing NFC, I only used it once or twice when my phone battery had died. Um, so it's nice to have in a pinch, but I didn't rely on it. But the battery life of seven days for the smaller one, or I think it's 14 days for the larger watch, very tempting. And if it controlled the camera on the phone, I'd be getting one for myself as well. But because I can't see that this does control the camera at the moment, which I think it might only be the sports band that does that. So I may have to go and get the sports band. Um, which would be a bit odd that they've got one for one product and not another because that's only software based. Um, but the whole setup process was the biggest downfall on this. It, if that was a simple setup, I'd be going, this is a beautiful watch. My wife's going to love it. This is wonderful. And if, again, for the shutters, that would be perfect for me. I... It's hard to jump on this one, unfortunately. The phone, go for the phone, love the phone. After the main operating system update, it becomes brilliant. So hopefully they don't release bad operating system updates afterwards um, because the phone, I love the phone now, really pleased with it. But the watch, again, it's just software. Um, little bit more work on that and then this would be a definite go for a watch. Well, that's it for now. Bit of a mixed review in this one. All right, well, I've just got off the phone with their technical support. Yes, I had to call tech support. That's not a good sign. Um, they said that they do know of a software bug with the app that comes with the phone on this, 
which is why they tell you to download the Huawei version. And they do on the phone tell you, do not click on any of the adverts, do not click on any other download links, it should automatically download. So the software that comes with the Honor phone uh, is known to be not correct. So they get the Huawei software, but then there's no remote shutter on it. Now, the website, I'll show some snippets on the website on the screen, where they say that it's the Watch 2 does remote shutter in some of the support documentation, but they say it's the Band 7 that does remote shutter on the marketing information. And if you call support, they say that the, smart, uh, the Magic Watch 4 does remote shutter. And honestly, I don't know if any of them do it, or if all of them do it, if it's dependent on the software, if it's dependent on the phone, if it's dependent on the hardware. They do say that it has to be a Honor phone for the Honor watch to control remotely. Fair enough, they want to force you in their ecosystem. But it doesn't have that functionality. Now, it's fine for my wife's one not to have it because that's not what she wanted it for, it's what I wanted to use it for. And if it did do it, I'd have bought a second one. Um, but having all this software bug and glitch with it, it's... If we end up keeping the watch, I'll do another video saying living with the watch for so long and how we like it and what we find. But if you're not wanting all the extra features, if you want it purely as a heart rate monitor and everything and you're happy to use the Huawei software, I think it'll actually be very nice. The battery does look brilliant. The watch, the hardware looks lovely. It's just the software is a bit of a letdown. So software is easy to update. It just takes the development team to come along, put their heads together, get it sorted out, release the update, and it'll be an easy recommend. So that's where I'm gonna to have to leave this one. If you did enjoy the video, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click that bell notification icon. Our Instagrams and our social medias are down the side there. If you want to support us some more, you can give us a PayPal donation or subscribe to our patrons down below. We've also got YouTube super thanks as well, which some people have been very generous and given us, so we do appreciate that a lot. Well, that's it for now, although I would say after the uh, titles and look out for some outtakes because I think we may have some for this one. All right, well, take care, all the best. Bye for now and see you again soon. Unboxing and setup of Honor Watch 2 Take 1. I just want to remind everyone that we do actually have a whole host of online services such as online backup, security for all your endpoints. We do... I haven't got the TV on. Now in your instructions, there is actually a QR code that I saw. To download heart. Can't see it there. I saw it in the other book. That's not doing a scan. Hmm. If you find the Google Play Store on the phone and then search for Honor Health, open it up, to allow, next, okay, you agree. Enable that, allow, devices, now click add, while using the app, allow. So now it should be scanning for the watch. Let 
Okay, so we'll then scroll up, select language, English. That is it. Add device. Rescan. Now there was an, a barcode in here, so we'll try this barcode. No. Okay, so we'll come out of that. No. Let's see if I can find a barcode scanner to download the app. Make sure we get the right one. Ah, they've got a different app that you so you've got to scan the barcode in this. Don't download the Honor Health app. Agree and close. Allow, so the, the app comes from somewhere else, which you wouldn't expect. download it anyway. It's very odd it's giving you an APK from a third-party website. You'd expect that to be from the Honor servers or from their Play Store. So we can now see it's downloading. It's very unusual that you've got to use the QR code to download an app from a third-party website, not use the heart or health app that's built into the phone from their Play Store. Uh, that's This is what they're telling us to do, so this is what we'll do. And so you'll need to allow it to do the installs. We can open that up. Allow, next, next, agree. Now we can go to devices. Add, go OK, while using the app, scan, allow, oh, but there's no, this is Huawei one, so we've got to come back to this. I'll get back to you. Actual setup, take God knows what. Well, why can't I? The option may lead to a security risk. You reckon that you do not do this or you try again later. Well, how about you just let me set up the account? Now we need to put in her phone number, which of course I don't know, and my phone, her number's on the phone, so I'll come back to that. Yep, so we do that and then we click finish. Yes, you can allow, yes, allow that. But I can't see what it's trying to scan. There's... Am I seriously missing something here? All of this big instruction manual is just how to do the strap in every language on the planet with perfectly reasonable pictures. So that's as useless as anything. The instructions themselves, the actual instruction on how to link it just says link the watch. Useless. Are you meant to be scanning the back of it? There's nothing to scan. Maybe it needs to be plugged in for it to go into pairing mode. 
Oh, so it's not necessarily that in set of instructions. Maybe it's this app. Okay, let's try a different QR code. I found another one in the instruction manual. No, nope, that's the same one. Now, one thing I do want to check is if I can control the camera remotely with the watch, because that's something I really want from it. So select up, up, no, come on. There is meant to be a shutter option on here. So if you do want to get yourself the Honor Smart Watch, um, they call it the Magic Watch, or you want to get the Honor Magic 5 Phone Pro, which definitely get the phone. That's really worth it. There'll be links for those down below. Well, that's all we've got time for today. It, so do hope to see you all again soon. As always, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.